I'm on TV! Oh shit! First cop now this! Oh man, I'm being star, son! We must get to the basketball court. That's just around the corner. Um, are we playing? What's that got to do with time? Is it like time to kick my ass? We are going to remind Gail's son that it is past curfew. Daniel. Sure. Good evening, citizens. I need... Need what? Some spare parts? Hey, there's a mechanic up the road. We all have to obey the rules of the games we play. Unsportsmanlike conduct makes all players look bad. That's right, fool. That was a technical foul. I didn't know he's so delicate. What do you need? We're looking for a kid. His name's Daniel. He was playing here earlier. Why? Is it past his bedtime? It is. Yeah, I saw a couple of kids drawing with chalk they found lying around that crime scene over there. Thank you for the information. Congrats, guys. You just became police informants. It has its perks. You'll love it. I see a couple of drawings over there. This was drawn not long ago. Ah, there's more over there. Daniel! Come on, kid! Where are you? You should be somewhere around. Shoe print, size 7. That's gotta be his. the chalk here. I must have found something more interesting. What about over there? No, it is locked. They did not go inside. So I guess you have, like, a scanning thing in your eyes. Yes, it allows me to see things that are not there anymore. Oh, so it's kind of like new.
What the fuck? That was close. We'd better hurry. Do it. Come on. And him. What are you waiting for? Fuck him up. He's laughing at you. Hey, what the hell's going on over there? Yo! Daniel! Oh no. It's the cops! I don't want to go to jail for this shit! Is that a gun? Oh, you're in so much trouble, kid. No, it's not. Whoa! What the hell? You're lucky that Tin Man here doesn't have a real heart. He'd have a hole in it right about now. Sorry, sir. You will be once your dad hears about this. My dad's missing, so he can't tell me nothing. My mom said that he's out on an assignment, but I know the truth. He's not coming back. Why'd you say that? He's always been a stickler for following the rules. I guess that's why he's missing. Cops can't shoot without giving a warning. And someone got the drop on him. But that's not gonna happen to me. I'm going to be the one that shoots first. That's why my friends say... Your friends are knuckleheads. If you listen to them, you're a knucklehead too. Come on. Sit down. We need to talk. Those friends of yours... They take the easy way out. You don't want to go down that road. It leads to a dark, lonely place. Do you know why your dad is such a stickler for the rules? Because he's a chump. Because it's the right thing to do. It's not always easy to do the right thing. It takes strength. And you think my dad has that kind of strength? Are you kidding me? Your father has enough strength for the both of us. He even helped an ungrateful addict that he found in one of these buildings that smelled of rotting garbage, half dead and covered in vomit. And instead of writing him off, your father opened his home to him because that was the right thing to do. That's strength. Don't you think there's someone else who could use that kind of support now? Mom. See? You already know what to do. You can start by giving her this. She's looking for it. Is he going to arrest me? No. It's your first offense. So he'll let you off with a warning. Right? Right. It's late. Let's get you home. Well, you tell my mom about the gun? No. She doesn't like me already. Thanks for the help, Tin Man. I'll talk to you later. Hey, partner. What's the status on the old slaughterhouse? I have to take care of something. We can go there soon. Sure thing. Pick me up at the station when you're done. This is where Sook is supposedly hiding. Can't really call it hiding if he sent invitations to the whole city. A bit rude he forgot about us. 
Or at least I will not feel bad crashing his party. Murphy, I was thinking about what happened to you at the TV station. Maybe you shouldn't... No need for alarm. Becker's chip is keeping my circuits in check. You're more than just circuits, Murphy. Underneath all that metal, there's still you. Alex Murphy is gone. He lost his life. And despite that burden, you carry on. You've done more for this city dead than anyone has alive. That has to count for something. Uh, I'm gonna shut up now. Just take this little something to remind you of what I've just said. Open it the next time Becker gets under your skin. Also, don't forget you have a partner who's counting on you. Concert in an old slaughterhouse? I suppose it fits those animals. The place looks deserted. Are you sure your junkie friend didn't mix up the dinners? He is the type who likes to mix things up. We shall have to see. I can't hear any music. Is this supposed to be a private show? We cannot go this way. We would need a warrant. I can't believe those stupid directives are still holding you back. <clears throat> go ahead, partner. Oh, a stench. Someone missed potty training. If Sid is such a great performer, shouldn't there be a big line in here? Regardless of his vocal abilities, I still want to see him sing. Wait. I think I can hear something. Maybe your informer was right after all. Gherkin, was it? Pickles. Yes. I definitely hear some commotion on the other side. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, shit! Pig found our lab! Why can't you give us a fucking break? Justice never sleeps. discovered a Torchhead's nuke lab at the old slaughterhouse. Multiple subjects were neutralized, but there are still active threats in the vicinity, gang leader included. Requesting backup. Let's hurry up. They probably know we're here. The way they handle the... Another locked door. 
I'm going to call this probable cause. No need for a warrant. Hey there, Murphy. Behind you. Now, up you get, big man. They're closing in on us.
Lewis, wait! Don't worry, partner. We'll stay in contact.
had everything lined up perfectly. Let us talk. Stay the fuck away. You can't touch me. I do business with the new guy. You seem to know a lot about him. You're not getting anything out of me. Do you know how many cops I've killed? I ain't scared of you. Besides, I'm pumped up with nuke like a freaking power plant. Then get ready for a meltdown. If you think you're gonna get... That's quite a grip you got there. Is that supposed to scare me? Not a single scratch. <laughs> yourself out! That's not even mine! Hey! That stuff doesn't come cheap! No! That was the only thing in my collection that I didn't steal! I freaking hate you! Never rest until every pig in Detroit is dead. That's enough! I'll talk! Lewis, I have soot. He is ready to give me his statement about the new guy. Wouldn't you rather hear it from the man himself? Where is Officer Lewis? She's outside, right next to me. We're having a nice citizen officer chat. Um, why don't you take... My rising star, and join us so we can exchange partners. Hey! What the hell are you doing now? The new guy is here. You are coming with me. In that case, giddy up! Can you even feel the fear? Because you should be crapping in your pants right now. You have stepped into a big freaking mess. Cleaning up the town mess is what I do. Uh, that was an awesome concert. If it wasn't for you, they would have never have guessed it was all on playback. Man, I need some flu. Got to take no, no, no. Everywhere I look, I see Nook, Nook, Nook. My left hip is getting a bit numb. Can we swap sides? What are we stopping for? Is your battery drained or something? Now, me and your partner here are growing impatient. Why don't you hurry up? Scared of a meat hook? <laughs> Lewis? I'm all right, Murphy. Drop your weapon. You are under arrest. No, I don't think you're reading this situation correctly. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, big guy. Ah, it's the new guy in town. Welcome to Detroit. 
I assume you've seen our little TV spot. Short and sweet. You know the first rule of show business and drug dealing, right? Leave them wanting more. That's a writer you got there. <clears throat> Murphy? Something wrong, cop. Hey, so. I think it's time to get back to business. <sighs> you fucking idiot. Your stupid stunt put a spotlight on me. Oh, you want to talk business? Here's a free lesson. You never, ever fuck with the money. <laughs> I don't think so. Murphy, what's happening? Now that we've got that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Wendell Antonowski. I believe you've met my brother before. <laughs> my brother really did a number on you, didn't he? But thanks to him, you've been given this great opportunity. What the fuck are you doing to him? There are people who would do anything to be in your position, to have your abilities. And yet, you attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you. To the part that's still human. Imagine the pristine life you could lead without the things that limit you. Murphy, don't let him get inside your head! Like her. No attachments, no leverage. I admit, when I first heard that you were the reason my idiot brother was dead, huh, I was furious. But then I got to thinking, why would I let anyone have such power over me? So I let it go. And now, I'm here to help you do the same. This is not an act of revenge. This is a gift. Fuck you, scumbag! Lewis! 